Welcome to another video on FE Builds. In the last time you saw us with the, the Suzuki Jimny, we were at the Ford track and we had a bit of a mishap right at the beginning of the track, but nevertheless, we pushed through and with the Suzuki completely swayed down to the left side or completely compressed to the left side with the tension of the spring of the anti-roll bar we managed to still make it through that track. It was a very nice and fun and enjoyable track. And once again, thank you to uh, Ford and Eastern Cape Motors here in Port Elizabeth for allowing us to come in with our own cars and not just restricting it to Ford Rangers. Also a special thank you to Paul, our friend who featured in the video. He popped over today and he gave me these two uh, pieces for free because you can see our original one that we took off bent. I believe both of them bent and if you look closely it's stripped and after this incident it actually prompted some research uh, which is actually going to lead us to an upgrade that we're going to do and special thanks to our friends from Fush Adventure, Craig and Heather. They are ordering the same part along with us because they have a similar setup to us in terms of suspension. So we're going to install these today and keep this as a temporary fix just until we get our parts that are arriving from Japan. So we're going to try out two different parts. The first one is a 25mm spacer that just lowers it and shorter links. I believe they're a bit shorter, they're about that size and apparently that works with the, the lift kits and it corrects the geometry and any offset on the suspension. And we're also getting spaces just on a trial basis that sort of move the sway bar a bit back or a bit forward. And that also in a way uh, helps. So there's two options that we can work with. And on FE builds, we opted to go with both. And with that being said, it will give us the opportunity to actually test and see if it makes alignment much easier or if it makes it worse. At the Ford track, as we were going in, there was a sound of a loud snap. And that was basically the sway bar becoming inverted. So one of these was pointing up and one was pointing down. I believe both of them are supposed to be down. So we're gonna fix that today quickly. Currently, in order to get the car back here, we literally just uh, took off the one side and drove slowly back. And uh, that was the fix. We released the tension on the spring by lifting the car on one side and we drove back. But now I'm gonna put these two new ones in and uh, hopefully it goes well. Hopefully they will hold up until we get the full on fix and the mod, which I'll do a video on. Okay, so right there, is the first part that we need to fix. I'm just gonna put my light on over here. I've got one of those Iron Man magnetic lights. Just gonna mount it over there so you can see what I'm doing. I've also got some blue Loctite. Hopefully this is just a fit that's just gonna work easily uh, without much trouble. I've got my jack under the car because uh, I'm looking at the space here.
Okay, so we've added a dab of uh, blue Loctite to the top part. So we're gonna put it in and fasten it down nicely. And I've got the torque specs for this bolt. I've got a torque spanner just behind the camera. Now, let us get the bottom piece on. Put a touch of uh, Loctite on it. Thread locker. Don't try this at home. Okay, and as we look in there, it should be seated nicely on both sides. So, there's the torque spanner. And we'll talk the top one first. Okay, so this torque uh, wrench is set to 15 newton meters and uh, we'll just torque it down. That's 15 newton meters. Now, we're doing the bottom one. Let's we'll push down on the, the sway bar and uh, make sure this is set right. to 50 and let us talk this thing down yeah that should be 50 newton meters and it's sitting properly the top is sitting properly also and I'll just give you a view of that quickly. So if you look down there, sitting nice and flush. If you look at the top, it's also sitting nice and flush. Now we're gonna do the other side.
Okay, and just to show you quickly, we're gonna take off the old one and let's just look in there if there's any grooves that it should sit in. As you can see, this one here also bent slightly from the incident. Uh, let's just look on the inside part over here. If there's any grooves that it should sit in. Looks to me like it's just a flat surface. Yeah, it's just a flat surface. That groove doesn't actually even sit in there. I'm looking at the bottom. And just above it. it should be a piece that we got. There's no groove for it to actually sit there. Once again, we can see the comparison between the old one and the new one. And this one looks nice. And uh, we're just gonna put a bag of Loctite on both sides okay that looks good using the last few drops of loctite being super efficient now let's put the bolts on and i will put pressure on it so the spring allows the bolt to tighten and it loosens up a bit more but this has put the bolts in place so long and check that it's sitting flush, then tighten it. Almost seems like for me, uh, 50 Newton meters is literally just like a flick of the finger, because I mean, just hand tight. Okay, so if you can see over there, I've just hand tightened it in, and uh, it's sitting nice and flush. Also on the top, it's sitting nice and flush over there. And uh, let me do one thing so you can see it clearly. We'll shine the light from the top on the side so you can actually see. And I can see because getting in there is quite difficult. And it's hard to see it from the space I've got over here. That seems like it's sitting flush on this side before I tighten up the bolts. And at the bottom also seems like it's sitting nice and flush. The technician service manual that I've got, don't ask me how I got it. Um, I just happened to give, get it from someone who was really good. It says go 50 Newton meters of torque. I'm gonna push it up to 70. Just for safety's sake, so we can make sure those bolts are tight. being extra sure you know put a bit more for insurance purposes uh, don't put so much where you strip it but uh, just make it nice and tight boom and just like that we are done the new links are installed thank you so much Paul I know you'll most probably watch this at some stage uh, we owe you big time uh, you helped us to at least get a temporary fix and uh, we're gonna be coming back again to do this with the, the new setup that we're going to receive. Might receive it next week sometime, uh, but time will tell and uh, the postage service will tell. But that's our wrap for this video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, cheers.